This is for Photoshop and Photoshop Elements. Right, I've selected my Arc Custom Shapes file. The Arc Custom Shapes file can be found on graphicextras.com. Now I'm just going through the various shapes that are in the Custom Shapes palette. To load the Custom Shapes, you have to use the File Open command. Then you load the CSH file into Photoshop or Photoshop Elements. Right, now I'm just drawing them using the Fill option for the shape so each of the uh, shapes are now being applied now this in this case is a an actual drop shadow applied right i'm going to select other shapes here you can use the current foreground color now i've actually used a pink foreground color at this point now i'm just going to make a quick background and then change the color of the custom shape tool to black and just apply that over a background of a of a circle design Right, another custom shape again you can just apply multiple ones you can change the colors you can change the opacity of the custom shape uh, you can also change the blending mode for to apply the custom shape uh, the custom shape itself can be distorted warped um, also you can combine multiple custom shapes you can you know, like here I'm actually applying uh, multiple of the same shape but you can also apply obviously um, different shapes you can go to another library apply different shapes from that and then go back to the other shapes library you can add multiple libraries into a single shapes palette so here's more arc shape designs they're all vector shapes so basically they can be applied to any size of document so they don't have to be just applied to 72 dpi or anything like that or 300 dpi it can be applied as the document itself so i'm just going to select another thing this is a like a frame design and keep going backwards and forwards but different shapes is another shape they say you can apply multiple ones in this case or you can apply them over each other or you can apply them maybe separately uh, you can apply uh, different designs together combine them in multiple different ways Again, you can also apply them with different colors. So you just change the foreground color and, and then apply. So I'm actually applying them at the moment just with the current. So I'm actually just going to rotate the document. So you can apply them obviously a different, a different way. So you don't have to just apply them. And then, of course, you can also go and create the brush design and then resave it so you can rotate the brush design then save that shape so let's say if you want it always at say 180 degrees or maybe distorted shape you can just go and quickly define the custom shape again in this case you i'm actually using these shapes to define a brush brush stroke but you can use it say for patterns and for other things like that as well you can also use it to save as a displacement map or glass distortion and then obviously import uh, the PSD file into the fill texture filter and those sort of things. So I'm just selecting other designs. Again, you can create multiple designs, change the colors, going from swatches or via the foreground in the palette. Now I'm actually going to put it into a star mode. So now instead of, it's actually a layer so you can actually apply styles such as a metallic or a, a bevel or whatever and use various layers effects as a thing so you don't have to actually use them as a fill design i generally for myself i use them as fill but you can actually apply fill design to a layer a new layer so you can create a new layer and then apply the style that way that's another way of doing it so you've got here gels you can apply the gel ones some more shapes using the gel again you can go to the layer and styles and just change them basically to any style you want also you can find many different styles available on the web so I'm just going to use a style again you can at that point you can actually start uh, warping the designs as well you can also as it's a, as a vector layer you can actually transform them rotate them slant the design um, apply various warping shapes 
And again, once you've done that, you can actually then save the uh, the shape as a new shape if you want to keep a particular design. You can also use the various path tools to distort or modify the the shape at that point. So there's another one. I'm just going to do a, a transformation here. So I'm just going to warp it, apply perspective so you can sort of warp it. And once you, you can click on it and then save that as that shape. Rotate it. There's multiple, basically multiple designs can be created from the same, from the same shape. So, go on the history, click, go through that, go through the other shapes. Put it back to the fill design and just do that. Again, you can apply different colours to uh, same designs, or you can uh, different designs and different colours, and so on and so on. There's many different shapes. There's actually uh, in the Arc Shape Set from GraphicExtras.com, you can find uh, EPS files as well. Uh, the EPS files can be used in many other applications like Illustrator, InDesign, and so on and so on. Here, I'm actually doing creating a a fill which a pattern so I can actually you know just and I can uh, scroll scroll that to change the scale yeah you know, there's the thing but like I say it's got EPS files as well as the CSH file and also it also includes the PNG file so files so uh, you can use those in like painter or photo paint you might have to convert the format but uh, there's many applications that can do that available on the web so uh, like I say there's 100 different designs in the thing and you can I say use them to create millions and millions of different designs so you don't have to just use a particular one there you can just sort multiple designs and you can save that and maybe use that to create another shape that's more complicated than the, the basic shapes that are included in the set.